Hey guys, welcome to Top Channel One on One. Today, let's dive into some new add-ons that we are released this week that extend the functionality of Blender, including a new fluid system, a new retopo tool, a fleet of cars, a wind dynamic system, a renoiser that adds grain or noise to your renders, a new constraint system, and a lot more. Starting with Fluid Lab, a powerful add-on for generating realistic simulations like fluids, viscous bodies, slime, and, and others. You don't need a domain, meaning you, you can do the simulation anywhere without worrying about the boundaries of your domain. You can also create simulations in real time within your viewport without baking. All you need is set up the simulation and hitting play on your keyboard to let your simulation run. You can interact with the emitter with different densities, viscosities and other behaviors. We also have a new retopology tool because retopology is quite tedious even with add-ons that have been around but this new polymating tool can turn retopology into a simpler task instead of nearly remodeling the entire model from scratch the polymating add-on wraps a mesh around your model mimicking the shape while giving you the best topology this add-on is a spatial partitioning system similar to the shrink wrap modifier then we also saw a new fleet of cars, over a hundred rigged cars and vehicles. If you are a car lover, 3D CGI Studio has launched a mega fleet of cars with over 100 rigged cars and vehicles. Uh, this mega fleet is more than just an add-on library. It's a comprehensive tool designed to streamline your workflow and manage a vast array of high definition vehicles effortlessly. If you want to get this right now, you can get it at a 35% discount using the code LAUNCH2024 also have a new effects add-on that adds wind to your renders if you have clothes flags trees bushes grass in your scene you can easily add dynamic wind in into your render using this new wind effects add-on it runs in real time you don't have to bake or simulate anything you just have to hit play and the wind effects add-on will do its magic if you're trying to make your models look older or aged Check out this new one-click edge add-on. This add-on has a user-friendly interface for easy adjustments to let you add wear and tear, dust details, grunge detail, and a lot of effects that can turn a clean new object into an old dusty object. It's ironic that we use tools like the Blender Denoiser to remove noise in our renders, but most professionals add noise back using using grain effects. Unfortunately, Blender doesn't have a grain effect, but this new add-on can do a great job at adding grain back to your renders. And the reason why we add grain or noise back into your renders is to ground them to make them look realistic. Our most cameras record some grain in low lit areas. While there are denoisers that try to remove this grain, we are so used to this grain that when it's missing, it makes the render look imperfect. Add-ons like this grainy tool can be used to add the grain back and this add-on can also add animated grain back to your renders. If you want some sterilized explosions in your scene, check out this new explosion generator. It is fast, real time and looks amazing. You can adjust the size, change its timing and add different explosions, multiple explosions in one go. We also have a new rigging tool, Blend Quick that enables you to quickly and easily rig characters and simulate effects on the rig. You can export it as an FBX and GLTF format compatible with Unreal Engine, Maya and Godot. To rig your characters, you just add these yellow markers and Blend Quick Auto Rig will automatically place the bones to speed up the rigging process. The tools don't end there. We also got this Auto Constraints add-on is an add-on designed to make working in 3d easier faster and more intuitive say you want to add something into your scene auto constraints will check for nearby walls or floors to place your object correctly it can also automatically rotate your object to make it fit in your scene and it's also handy when in modeling the add-on helps you move faces edges and vertices depending on their nearest normals making it easier for you to align your edges while modeling Finally, we also have a matte painting tool. Matte painting is usually done in applications like Nuke or After Effects, but imagine how much freedom and control you would get if you use a 3D application like Blender. Well, that's exactly what this matte painter add-on does. It turns Blender into, into a Photoshop-like software, letting you draw and paint inside Blender, making it easy for you to create stunning matte painting. 
this channel is all about learning blender and creating effects so let's take a look at some tutorials that we made in in the previous week we had this roofs exploding out of the ground video that you can watch all links are going to be in the description and we also created an underwater scene a thanos portal from the avengers infinity war and this commercial where ice breaks revealing a cold beverage all links to these are going to be in the description let me know what is your favorite and uh, what other tutorial or effect we can do for the next video thank you for watching i'll see you in the next video